Whether you look at it from an environmental point of view or through the business lens, the energy sector must adapt and quickly to a more sustainable way of doing things. This was the sentiment shared during a workshop held by BPTT as the company laid out some of its plans to meet the demands for clean energy. Janine Brown has more. There's an undeniable need for higher energy production worldwide, but equally industry players are stressing the need to drastically reduce the collective carbon footprint. As carbon emissions have hit what experts in the industry describe as troubling levels over the past three years, BBTT says it remains committed to redirecting its focus to more sustainable projects. And it's for this reason that we're pleased to support Trinidad and Tobago in establishing commercial scale renewable energy projects. BP, together with Lightsource BP and Shell, submitted a joint bid to the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries for a solar power facility. The outcome of that process will be announced in due course by the Minister later this year. But as the company's group chief economist Spencer Dale points out, focus on renewable energy is just a part of the puzzle. Even with a significant growth in 2018, renewable energy is said to have contributed only a third to power demand. Yes, we've seen really rapid growth in, in wind and solar power, but that's been offset by declining, the declining share particularly of nuclear power, so, that, so the overall share of non-fossil fuels um, hasn't changed. So the sector we need to make most progress in, we've made precisely none for the last 20 years. He proposes greater attention be shifted to reducing the use of coals. I can achieve the same amount by shifting around 10% of coal into natural gas. At this point, you think Spencer's pulling a rabbit out of his hands. How can it be? Well, well, that sounds a relatively small number. And the point here is that coal is such a large proportion of the power sector. Shifting 10% of coal into natural gas can give you an enormous uh, uh, impact in terms of um, and reductions in carbon. Globally, coal remains the single largest energy source to generate electricity. Climate change has created what Mr. Dale describes as a vicious cycle. The hotter or colder weather conditions are, the more energy is used to regulate temperatures. The problem with that is higher consumption propels the cycle forward by emitting more carbon dioxide. Janine Brown, TTT News.